I want to take my family walking down Master Street. But you wouldn't let me go. You're breaking up my home. Oh, boss me. Can't you hear me when I call? For more than 150 years, Maxwell Street was the Ellis Island of the Midwest. Well, you may be big, but you not so tall, 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 tall at all. It was a refuge from the Tsar's pogroms, from the upheaval of the Mexican Revolution, and from Jim Crow bigotry. It was a reminder of the great open-air markets of the old world and a forerunner of the modern shopping mall. I got your shoes off of in one of America's most segregated cities, Maxwell Street was Chicago's most integrated neighborhood. Whether you are African American or Hispanic, of European or Asian ancestry, Jewish or Gentile, Maxwell Street is part of your heritage. I'm standing in front of a store now. It's uh, was once Smokey Joe's. As you can see right here, the bottom of the uh, floor here, it still had Smokey Joe's here. But if you wanted some choice clothes, you came to Smokey Joe's. Smokey Joe's was the man with the plan to put them threads at your hand. Many generations of Chicagoans were born and raised here, but the world knows Maxwell Street too because this is where the Chicago blues were born. Today, the influence of Chicago blues can be heard in virtually every style of modern popular music. People travel from all over the world to experience Chicago blues in the city of its birth. But the University of Illinois at Chicago wants to burn that baby's cradle. It wants to destroy all evidence of Maxwell Street the place where urban electric blues began. The much of Maxwell Street is gone now, but much remains. Some of these buildings are over 100 years old. This is still a vibrant and unique commercial district. People shop here, dine here, and worship here. Nearby St. Francis Church, the oldest Mexican-American parish in Chicago, was saved from the wrecking ball by citizen activists. Maxwell Street, too, can be saved. I, I used to do a lot of business here, shopping. My four generations back. Shopping on a Sunday was the greatest thing in, in our life to come here and shop on Maxwell Street. As we were kids, we bought clothes and shoes and coats and hats and materials and yard goods and geez, I mean anything you wanted was on Maxwell Street. And you name it, you got out of here. It's sad though what's happened to it. It's really sad. Musicians still perform on Maxwell Street, particularly during protest rallies organized by the Maxwell Street Historic Preservation Coalition. Demonstrations usually are held on the sidewalk across from Jim's original hot dog stand in front of a university parking lot. A big piece of our heritage died for this parking lot. Since 1939, we've been serving the Chicago public area. Uh, you're talking almost 60 years. But this stand originally has been here since 1917. And I mean, uh, there's a lot of history on the street. You know, you got the blues years ago, right by the alley there. They had the blues people playing, and we would let them uh, plug in with the electric, you know, so this way they can play their instruments. And there, you know, you know, you've got Tom Dog Taylor, you've got a, a lot of the blue, the blues player that started on Maxwell Street. You know, with Bloody Waters. You know, I mean, it's you know, the history, and then what you know what the university is proposing to do. To me, it's just it's just ridiculous. <laughs> This is Johnny Mae Dunson back on Maxwell Street. Now 77 years old, she began her blues career here in the 1940s, 
playing drums for dancer Eddie Porkchop Hines. Johnny May is a singer, drummer, and songwriter who spent several years with blues legend Jimmy Reed. Backing her up are Maxwell Street veterans John Primer on guitar and Jody No on harmonica. in the marketplace who pedal up and down the streets. This is a tradition for this area. This is how they make their living. That would be taken away from them if this whole area were to be raised and just a campus put here. There would be no memory of the past. And when there's no memory of the past and no history written of the past, it is gone. Right. It's as if it didn't exist. A place of Two more lives. Maxwell Street buildings were lost in 1998 but approximately 60 of the vintage structures remain. A compromise plan to save and rehabilitate 36 buildings was negotiated by the coalition with support from the City of Chicago Department of Planning and Development, but UIC reneged on that agreement. It intends to destroy everything. You I'm so unhappy Lord, can't you take it I will play some way. Lord, you know I'm so unhappy. Cause you take in Maxwell Street away. Well, you may not see it right now, but you will be sorry one day. The wrecking ball is now looming. There is still time to save Maxwell Street. I'm your cross Drag me cross your lawn. To get involved, fax or email a protest message to UIC Chancellor Broska. You can fax that to 312-413-3393 or email to david.c.broski at uic.edu. Also, send a copy of your message to the Maxwell Street Historic Preservation Coalition. You can also call or email for more information about the Maxwell Street cause. That fax number is 312-341-3680. Email is mar at interaccess.com. You can also find us on the web at www.openair.org slash maxwell slash preserve.